Hi my friends, today I'm going to show you how to make a lovely porridge yam. So today I will be making a lovely recipe and I'm going to pop in a little bit of uh, spinach into the lovely you know, porridge. So let's get started my friends. If this is your first time watching my lovely channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button and of course turn on the bell so you never miss any upload. My name is Francis and this is Kuku Chef Francis live on YouTube. So I'm going to get started straight away to make our lovely Nigerian porridge yam. Thank you very much my friend. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly make my knife nice and sharp. And I'm going to peel the um, yam straight away. I'm going to bring my water to the boil. Lovely. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you the recipe I have um, I love the uh, plums. So I'm going to be using that. I'm going to use I'm going to use um, paprika or you can use ground red pepper. That's all right, my friends. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. And of course I need onion, a little bit of garlic. Stop using and of course sea salt so you can use palm oil that's all right you can use palm oil if you use a uh, tomato puree so now I have my spinach ready so my water has been brought to the boy so um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna quickly um, peel my yam so friends please remember to share like and subscribe and of course turn on the bell so you never miss any upload thank you very much my friends lovely so um, it's gonna take us uh, just a little bit of um, it's not gonna take us more than um, 20 minutes and we're done with our lovely porridge yam So now my friends, our water is uh, nice and warm. So I'm gonna quickly peel my yam straight away. Lovely. You can see the yam is nice and white. So I'm going to set that aside. So I'm going to use the baby one. Look at that, amazing, lovely. Amazing recipe, my friends. Lovely. So I'm peeling the yam.
So I'm gonna put that away. I could have some other time. So now my friend, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly dice my lovely yarn. Uh, so now I have a lovely yam ready. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop that into a bowl. So I'm gonna wash my yam straight away, lovely. So I have my yam ready, I'm going to wash that quickly. So now my friends, I'm going to pop my yam into the boiling water, straight away, lovely. So I have my boiling water ready, so I'm going to pop in my lovely yam, straight away. So I'm going to bring that to the boil, lovely. So my friends, you can see 
Our lovely yam is ready, so I'm gonna leave that to cook. So now my friends, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna quickly um, dice my onion. So we leave that to boil, to cook. So now my friends, we have our lovely yam straight into this lovely boiling water. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly, you know, dice my onions straight away. Probably. So I got my onion here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly dice my onion and of course I got garlic. And of course, I got fresh tomatoes. So you can use cherry tomatoes, you can use salad tomatoes. That's all right, my friends. Let me. So we want our yam nice and soft before we pop in our onion and uh, plums. So now my friends, I'm going to quickly dice my lovely onion straight away, lovely.
I'm gonna use a ladle to remove the scum. So now we got our lovely onion ready. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wash my plum, and of course, I'm gonna quickly dice my lovely tomatoes straight away, lovely. I want it to cook quickly, that's why I pop the lid on it. If I leave it open, it's gonna take time. So now my friend, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly wash this lovely tomato straight away and of course I'm gonna quickly dye this lovely tomato straight away, lovely. It's gonna be a lovely Nigerian porridge now. It's almost ready. So I'm going to cut the plum in half. You can see this is a sweet plum. You can use your normal tomatoes or you can use Cherry tombs, salad tombs, that's alright. But I'm using the plum. Love it.
those dice, um, you know, just some of them. Uh, yam is almost ready. The yam needs to be well cooked before popping the ingredient in. So uh, that's why I'm dicing my lovely tomatoes now. So once the yam is cooked, I'm going to pop in my ingredients straight away and that's it. It's going to be ready in the next um, 10 minutes. So uh, we got our lovely tomatoes and onion right in there. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly dice my garlic. I'm going to chop that straight away. Lovely. So we got our garlic ready, lovely. Thank you. 
So now I'm gonna check what's going on straight away. Lovely. So I'm gonna use my fork to check if our lovely yam is ready. You can see the fork went in there. So it means it's nice and soft, nice and ready. So I'm gonna try that straight away. Lovely. So now my friends, our lovely yam is nice and soft. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna quickly, you know, finally chop my lovely spinach because I wanna pop that into our lovely yam. So I'm gonna quickly give it a quick wash straight away, lovely. So now my friends, I'm gonna quickly chop this lovely spinach straight away, lovely. So we got our spinach and um, garlic ready. So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop in all my lovely ingredients straight away into this lovely porridge yam. Thank you very much, my friends. So please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and of course, turn on the bell so you never miss any upload. So I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna quickly, um, pop my lovely tomatoes and of course I'm gonna pop in uh, my lovely spinach and um, garlic but before then I'm cooking for my baby so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna quickly, because we don't put salt in our baby's food, so I'm gonna quickly remove my baby's uh, yam. I'm gonna pop that right in there. I'm gonna cook our own separately without salt. So that should be enough for her. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop in a little bit of tomatoes into our own yam and a little bit of spinach straight into a yam and I'm gonna pop a little bit of water and bring that to the boil lovely then now I'm gonna pop in more water because I don't want the yam to burn so our yam is nice and soft Look at that, nice and soft, lovely. So now my friends, we have a lovely, um, nice and soft yam. So what I'm gonna do now, we want some water right in there, so we don't want it to get burnt. So what I'm gonna do now my friends, I'm gonna quickly pop in my lovely, you know, vegetables I need to pop in my onion 
and tomato lunch right in there. Mm -hmm. So we got onion and tomato right into our lovely porridge yam. So my friends, if you are cooking porridge yam in Nigeria, you need to pop in your, you know, palm oil. So for health reasons, for those who don't love palm oil, I'm going to show you how to make a healthy porridge yam without the palm oil, but you're still going to get the lovely red color. So I'm going to do instead of using palm oil for health reasons because palm oil is really fatty so I'm going to pop in tomato puree straight into this lovely yam lovely. it's still going to be nice and red and of course I have my lovely tomato puree right in there I'm going to pop in a little bit of black pepper straight into this lovely yam lovely. So that's a little bit of black pepper. And of course, my friends, I'm gonna pop in a little bit of paprika. You can pop in a fresh pepper, red one, that's all right. And of course, my friends, I'm gonna pop in a little bit of sea salt. I love using sea salt. You can use your table salt, that's all right. Lovely. So I'm gonna pop in my sea salt straight into this lovely dish. This is a lovely yam recipe. It's a yam porridge. Lovely. Now, because my friends, I'm not using um, palm oil, I'm going to pop in a little bit of olive oil because I'm making a healthy um, yam recipe. So I'll pop in olive oil straight away. Lovely. So um, I'm popping in about, you know, a little of olive oil which is about 10 tablespoons of six tablespoons of olive oil and of course I added two onion bulbs medium size and of course three cloves of garlic and of course spinach a handful of spinach I'm gonna add that at the end but now I'm gonna pop in my garlic I also added about a tablespoon of uh, uh, one teaspoon of you know, sea salt, and of course, one teaspoon of paprika, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. So, um, that's the yam porridge cooking. So I'm gonna give it a quick stir, and quickly I'm gonna pop in my lovely spinach, straight into this lovely yam, lovely. So we're gonna have our nice, you know, and favorite yam porridge. It's perfect for lunch, for dessert, uh, perfect for lunch, uh, for dinner, that's all right, but mostly for lunch, you enjoy your yam porridge. So now my friends, I'm gonna quickly you know, stir my lovely you know, young porridge. You can see it's nice and red. Look at that. Amazing. Lovely. Lovely young porridge. Nice and red. Lovely. Look at that. Amazing recipe. Thank you, Bisayan, for saying it looks yummy. So, um, look at that. Nice and red. Lovely young boy, my friend. Lovely. So, you can see how nice and red it is. So, uh, this is going to be perfect for lunch. You know. I'll leave that to Sima. I'm gonna give that again to Sima. In one minute, I'm gonna, you know, dish my lovely yam. You know, I'm gonna pop that in my lovely bowl. Mm. 
lovely um, perfect for lunch. Lovely recipe. So now my friends, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop my lovely yam, um, you know, into my lovely bowl. It's nice and ready. So my friends, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop in my lovely uh, yam porridge into my lovely bowl. So uh, I'm going to give you a recap on how I made that straight away. What I did, I peeled my yam, you know, and I diced that, washed my yam, pop it into, you know, the lovely uh, saucepan. And of course, I put my water to the boil before popping the yam into the saucepan. And of course, I, you know, allowed that to cook. For about 15 minutes and of course my friends I pop in my lovely diced tomatoes and diced onion into the lovely you know cooked yam and of course my friends I pop in a little bit of black pepper a little bit of paprika olive oil and sea salt and of course you know tomato puree so my friends I said if you're cooking that in Nigeria you need to use palm oil but I'm making a healthy yam porridge and that's why I'm using tomato puree instead of palm oil. So this is going to give you that red color that you need. And of course my friends, add a little bit of spinach and, you know, garlic. So my friends, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop in our lovely porridge yam straight into our lovely bowl. And of course we're going to serve it. So my friends, remember to join me in the next 15 minutes for our lovely moban. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be eating this for you yam, and of course I'm gonna show you how to eat it, and I'm gonna make you know, a lovely ASL, ASMR mobile video showing you how to eat that lovely yam. So my friends, sit back, class, and enjoy. In the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna get started to make that. Thank you very much. So now I'm gonna pop that into our lovely bowl, and of course I'm gonna serve it. Lovely. So look at that. Amazing. So now, what I'm going to do now, my friends, I'm going to quickly, uh, you know, stir the yarn. You don't want it to get burnt. So, you can see, look at the steam from the yarn. Look at the vegetable. Look at that. Amazing. Lovely. Look at the yarn. Lovely yam porridge. Look at that. Lovely yam porridge. It's really nice. Nice and perfect for lunch. You know what I mean, my friends? Lovely. It's nice and hot. Good for winter. Look at that. Look at the spinach. Look at the steam. Lovely. Lovely recipe, my friend. So, my friends, I'm going to quickly try that, but. Sit back, let's enjoy to watch my mobile. Lovely. It's nice and hot. Lovely porridge. Amazing. So, you can serve that. On a bowl, 
can set that in the bowl straight away. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Look at that, my friends. Lovely. So my friends, please share, like, and subscribe, and of course, turn on the bell so you never miss any upload. Look at this lovely recipe, this Nigerian recipe. Look at that. Amazing. So this is called Nigerian Yam Porridge. So check out my description section. You found the recipe there. And of course, rewatch this video and you see how I made that. I'll see you in the next 15 minutes for our lovely mobile. I'll see you. Cheers, my friends. Bye-bye. Lovely.